Before you comment, watch the full video. So it's time for what you've all been waiting for, the fan picks. Now, before you pick what you want each of our heroes to have, let me explain what is and what isn't available, as well as some rules and requirements. You may pick one Gen 1 Pokemon and one Gen 2 Pokemon for each player in the playthrough. If you do not pick for everyone, your picks will not count. We want to make sure everyone has an equal amount of choices. After we are done accepting fan picks, we will compile a list of all the Pokemon and use a random number generator to pick what each person will get. If a Pokemon is suggested more than once, it will appear on the list more than once, thus increasing the chance that it will get picked. Now, this part I will leave up to you guys. Do you want us to make a separate video showing what we get and who suggested them for us, or do you want us to leave it as a surprise in the playthrough? Now about the Pokemon. Anything that is obtainable in-game before fighting the Elite Four for a second time is allowed, including pseudo-legendaries and legendaries. But remember, keep it Gen 1 and Gen 2. Because we are going to use a code to get the event Celebi so that we could do the time travel event, you can pick Celebi. We are also going to do the spiky-eared Pichu event, so that Pichu is also something you can pick. You cannot pick moves or limit evolutions. That choice is up to us. However, the spiky-eared Pichu does not evolve, and is still an option you can pick. Keep in mind that we are still going by the rule where we cannot have something that one of the other players already has. Try not to give Taurus and X-Zero Pokemon that they used in the previous LP of Pokemon Fire Red and Leaf Green. Trade evolutions are allowed, and you do not have to be nice. Giving our heroes a challenge could prove to be entertaining. However, this does not mean you have to be mean either. Now let the picks begin. 